Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody to another bookshelf roast here on the channel where we're going to be going through and this time actually trying to provide as critical as I can feedback, not just going for the ha-has, but instead trying to show you all how to improve your shelves. And as of recording this, I am planning on doing a live stream today where I actually minimize and clean up my shelves to make them meet many of the guidelines I'm about to send off to you all. But by the time you're watching this, that has already happened because of how time works. But without any further ado, let us go ahead and jump on into the first shelf. There's two shelves that are the same build, slightly different coloration, a decent collection, love the meditating owl. That is one of the best shelf decorations I've ever seen. I'm gonna say the best thing you could do is actually instead of having two shelves that are clearly separated by some amount of space, I would get one bigger shelf that's gonna allow you to play more, really set up the books to display certain ones you love, uh, because that's something for book lovers, you know, I really think more people should lean into. Take a section of your shelf and put your favorite book in a edition you love, maybe save for on display and highlight it with maybe like a little knickknack by it or something. So from How to Train Your Gavin, we have very impressive shelves that are way too cluttered in my opinion. They are all Tetris to the brim on each and every single one with I think the only visible gaps I can see on this photo down in the bottom right for any expansion. Get rid of the front lighting, switch it out for back lighting. It just looks better in my opinion. But on top of that, with the fake plants that do not look super high quality laid over top, it again leaves quite a bit to be desired. At least go for some higher end plants if you're not willing to take care of plants. I'm giving this a B, like this is a well done shelf i would just one get more shelves that don't look like the rest of your shelves maybe shelves that have a bit more holding space capacity uh, to then replace the shelves you have uh, and give them more of an interesting look if you have a weekend just a few dollars and a lowe's or home depot nearby you can buy and make your dream shelf with just some youtube tutorials of how exactly to assemble them surprisingly easily and that might actually be what i plan on doing for my next shelves so Really great in terms of just, I know what you love. There's some personality here, but there's room for growth. I do love the cat insert. Jillian, if you wouldn't mind taking a tally of the cats and pets we see, we have one perfect kitty. Seriously, because the health of your hair and scalp is important. The good news? Yes. MD Hair has it covered. Their products have been formulated with medical and botanical ingredients, are clean and sustainable, and are structured to work together to help your hair from the inside out. By taking their quiz and uploading a photo of your scalp onto their website, they are able to provide a customized treatment kit to fit your needs and track your hair growth progress over time. Your subscription provides you with free 24-7 medical chat support with dermatologists and registered nurses. Best of us, Kim. And off your first month hit. I said first wrong. <laughs> Best of all. Best of all, when you use code DGREEN70 to sign up for your monthly full-size bottles, you will be getting 70% off your first month. Did I do okay? Oh my God. Okay, so you're showing me the actual assembly process and the painting them so they're actually blending into the room. That is really impressive. I'm not gonna lie, the blue, not for me. I think you also have sconces above on every level. Am I misseeing that? What is that up here? Is that a sconce? Dude, if you've sconced, if you've done the sconcification, immediate A tier. I'm gonna give you a high A with the potential for S with just adding a bit more personalization if knackage is your style, go that way. This is already uh, making great decisions. I love whenever people manage to work the corner of a room into their shelf presentation. Obviously, that's just the aesthetic to go for. It's like you're being hugged by literature. Personally, I would take the stuff up top 
put them in an actual shelf and then use that extra space to then just clear whatever you need to to highlight these books that you clearly care the most about. I have had people come in, look at a shelf of mine and be like, that book looks important to you. Why? And I get to tell them, you know, about an edition I really like, an author I love, a reading experience that just meant, you know, so much to me and maybe was impactful in my life. And if you put it that high, short people can't read it. <laughs> See, I'm trying to give genuine feedback and put effort into what I say, but then you all don't put effort into what you send me and make me mad. Because what we have here, I'm hoping, is a 16 year old who just hasn't had the time to clean up their space because that's about what's acceptable to be on presentation here. Literally no love or effort put into the display of the books. You have not sent me a shelf of pride like so many previous entrants have. And instead you have just sent me a corner of your room that nobody enjoys looking at, including yourself. This is a bookshelf roast, and you just made me shift gears back into the roasting with how unacceptable this is. No advice is going to be given because no effort has been put forth. Unbelievably adorable, awesome dog. He's a little bit of a chunker, but not in like a concerning way, just in that that seems to be a happy dog way. We have another perfect puppy. I do like the presentation. There's a bit empty going on, but overall that's not critically bad because you've done a good job of working with things filling out the space and relegating the empty spots to the bottom which for anyone who doesn't already know that automatically if you have a bunch of extra room put it in the lower shelves it just works better that way on aesthetics level i feel like this is a solid b plus shelf right now and the next step i would take would it be something to add a nice light so that all the covers don't always have this just like glare on them from that top light going on maybe something behind maybe a sconce attached up front. There's so much you can do. <laughs> this is from uh, a family member of mine, uh, Stephen Chen, who I highly recommend you go follow. They're a comedian. I got a job at the library. I had, like perfect thing. I was like, read books to kids. I was like, I could use some money. Also on my reading level. So let's do it. <laughs> so I showed up there and they, I, they gave me Clifford the Big Red Dog and I nailed it, you know? <laughs> no mistakes, just crushed it. <laughs> And uh, afterwards, they were like, you did a great job. Are you free next week? And I was like, yeah, but uh, that's not real, right? And she was like, what? And I was like, a talk can't be that big. Someone made it up. And they sent me their bookshelf saying, I don't have bookshelves or a beauty at the Be Beast library like everyone else, but I own some books that I keep on this one shelf. Steven, I have to see you at Thanksgiving, so I'm going to just go ahead and say I really like uh, your little dumpling guy. I think that's a dumpling. And your Rubik's Cube, great, lets me know you, you're a thinker. And uh, that is a shelf that is clean with books on it. Not my aesthetic. This like grand mini library architecture built into the shelf thing, I don't particularly like, especially when you actually are covering some of the book and the spine with the physical part of the shelf, there's not a crime here. It's just not aesthetically my favorite. Your secondary shelves, I like a bit more. Cats on old shelves, I will not roast the old shelves. Two more good cats. Uh, oh, three more good cats. We add those to the tally. I'm gonna give you a B minus because I, I gotta have my own aesthetics in to some extent. Okay, Marcus. Marcus runs a YouTube channel where he does really cool weapons deep dives. Check out Marcus's channel. Marcus might be good with weapons. He's f terrible with shelves. <laughs> okay, you're someone who works with weapons and it feels like there's small threats happening because not only is there like a scuff on the floor that looks like, oh, some branded sword landed there. I don't know. There's a sledgehammer and several like practice blades and I want to take this shelf, pick it up and just just put it in a dumpster. You get a D. But I believe in you that one day you can impress me with a C minus. Vance, for those of you who don't know, Vance, wonderful member of the Wheel of Time community. This, you're riding a dangerous goddamn line, Vance. Uh, because this is like halfway between a bookshelf and a here's my life shelf. And that's a fine line to ride. But this, I'm still gonna say is a bookshelf because I think it's well over 50% that's devoted to books. I do like the camera collection. I would expand the collection. I know you, Vance. I know you like a lot of fantasy series and I'm seeing rep for a few, but not all the ones I know you would love. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and say this is a B minus. 
Library of a Viking. This is about what I expected. It, it actually is like living up to the branding. This is a Viking's shelf. It's not over the top with like axes, try hard stuff, but it's it's straightforward, borderline barren. I'm marking down some points because you have books in front of books, but the collection's pretty darn impressive. And so I'll, I'll mitigate that and meet it in the middle. And the shelves don't hit me as just like a typical shelf you'll see everywhere. I'm You might have gotten them or you could have built them and I can't quite tell. So I'm gonna give you bonus points there. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say this is a very solid B minus. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Godochi, I, I love you. You're one of my favorite members of my Twitch community, and I, I hope you're doing well. But uh, this is just not okay. First of all, take the shoebox out of your shelf and hit yourself in the head with it once really goddamn hard. Take the beautiful Lord of the Rings set you have down here and put it up somewhere more visible. And I'm pretty sure if I zoom in here, yes, see these holes? You can adjust the heights of your shelves. I recommend you do so because this is driving me mad. There is no reason for this middle shelf to be so short because it's clearly restricting you and you're putting these Stephen King editions on their side for no goddamn good reason. Udi, Udi, Udi. Udi Kumra is a wonderful member of the online book discussion sphere. Highly recommend you check out everything but their shelf. Okay, wait, hold up. Is this a young picture of you? Oh my God. <laughs> That's so cute, you're adorable. Or if it's your little brother, your little brother's adorable too. I am finding things to like though. I'm seeing reflections of things that are important to you. I'm getting some real character and personality. So like, is that, is that food on your shelf? <laughs> the display of the books, what are you even doing here? Uh, you have Leviathan Falls and no other Expanse book near it, which is okay. I understand things happen, but you know, fix it one day, please. <sighs> I'm disappointed. That's your grade and I hope it stings a little. There are rooms where the natural light is so pleasant that I don't think you need to do much with the lighting. You still can for evenings and nighttime, but during the day, clearly this is just looks really nice. I can tell you're an artist looking at this uh, display for what we're seeing here that I'm one over. I'm going to give this a very solid B plus. Benny, this is a bookshelf roast. Not only did you send me clearly just some books tossed into a laundry basket, I can see your dirty clothes under it. Actually, f you, that's your roast. <laughs> I don't mean that in like a way where I like genuinely hate you, but kind of. Okay, so this is actually something that's a bit different than what we typically have to deal with here because this is someone who has done some floating shelves and put quite a bit of effort into embarrassing themselves in front of all of you for having a bunch of Funko Pops, which we should ridicule them for. Remember, even the company of Funko Pops, even they think these are absolute trash and worthless. You disrespect the goblin audience and you support and enjoy supporting wasting your money on plastic that's responsible for fish choking in the nature. I do like your xenomorph though. I think everyone's gonna understand what I say. This is someone who's going for a very specific, I wanna say like almost mad scientist type vibe. Susanna, my first impression of you is that you're a mad scientist, uh, which you know, dope, but it also gives me a little bit of anxiety. I'm really conflicted because the knackage isn't so egregious because of the chaos of the books. If the books weren't chaotic, I feel like the knackage would be too much. This is like scientifically made to, to break the bookshelf roast system, but you have a Funko Pop. So that mercy, here's the mercy I was giving you, it's gone. Ooh, okay, you're a fan of the Alien series, which weirdly, uh, I don't see too many people breaking the mold with a lot of the series they prominently display in these. So it's actually kind of refreshing and nice to see like diehard love for something that's not like Sanderson or V.E. Schwab or, you know, Arthur C. Clarke, which you even have down there. It's just like, no, 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 I'm a fan of the Alien franchise. Here it is. I kind of like that, weirdly. It's just not hitting very mature. It's well done, but it's well done in a basic way. I would take a new look from the ground up take everything off the shelves, reorganize, put them in a new spot, and just attempt again how to display everything. That's cool. Anything with a slant roof working with a bookshelf, 
gravy. And whew, I don't like snakes, but I need to be fair. So Jillian, if you could add one cute snack point, that would be fair. God, I like this. Anyone who puts extra effort into the presentation, even if their shelf is not very impressive, I'm going to give gravy points for. You've shown me your system. Okay, if you're a teenager and this is your shelf already, you are going to be a rock star of shelves in the future. Ah, we got a, a peaky cat that goes into cat point, obviously. Beautiful. Very nice additions of books. What you've done with this like staggered, okay, slight curve is doing you so many favors. And I really, really do appreciate that effort. SJ Serio, they have put their book prominently on display in hopes that some of the gobs will go and be like, I'll check out Sal's book and buy the monster within, which congratulations, Sal, you got your plug. And I'm only doing that because you also have number one dad, a little mini Lego set, some wheel of time. Like this is adorable. You're also a veteran. It looks like, or at least have someone in the family. So this is cute. I'm giving you a C minus because it's very barren. It's very minimal, but I'll give you your book plug. You have special editions out the your organization of them makes me want to die. As you have some folio of Song of Ice and Fire here, others up there, put them together. What are you doing? Just my personal opinion. I always think it's so funny to have someone be like, I like a Song of Ice and Fire. Death, murder, horror. Look at these cute little plushies. So I'll give you a B minus. It's still a good collection. I'm not like, it's not gross. It's presented fine. It's just not presented superb. You can't hurt me, goblin boy. I can't put that disgusting pile of books you have stacked on the right and the horrible stackage throughout, and I'm guaranteeing not properly securing your shelf behind it onto the wall, which you did not do. I can tell because you're just kind of carelessly throwing things throughout here. Definitely could someday. Uh, and the fact that you have just put almost no effort into presenting this in any kind of nice way, just taking all knackage and relegating it up top because that's your whole life philosophy. Why put an effort? Uh, that could hurt you in the long run, D. I'm gonna make enemies with what I'm about to say to you, James. Do not use a lightsaber for lighting. I don't need to justify it more than that. The collection is nice. I don't like in any circumstance having books on the floor, especially when there's existing space. I know it's a D&D &D kit, it still counts. You can also, I think board games and books go together quite naturally. So for me, C. Samuli83. You've done it. You're the first person today to not send me a bookshelf and instead send me an alcohol problem. We've gathered you here today to say we're concerned. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, but uh, this is not a bookshelf and you know it's not, so you don't get a grade. Wow, Ebony, I love a corner shelf. You've done something interesting with the lighting, which I like that lamp. I wouldn't have in concept, but you've did it in a way where I go, yeah, that absolutely works. Despite some basic shelves, this is a whole lot of personality. And I really like that. A, really, really impressed. And we're gonna end it with Anastasia, basically just letting me know they like Berserk and music and barely sending me a bookshelf. <laughs> I also like Berserk. Well done, no grade. <laughs> But this has just been your latest bookshelf roast. Let me know if you want me to slip back more into the just like roasting style, or if this kind of like more approach of like genuine feedback uh, is more interesting. Like and subscribe if you have not already. Thank you, Jillian, for editing this video. Feel free to put your stuff on screen if you want to be able to get hired by other goblins. And for all my audience members, this is all just good fun. Every now and then we get a comment from someone who's like, this is mean. It's the point of the video. Neon Ghost, my upcoming supernatural cyberpunk book is available for pre-order for audiobook and for digital copies. And the Kickstarter following is live right now. Link down below. Have a good one, y'all. Peace.